All right. Tools to Live By brought to you by the ultimate tool that you can own, which is a watch, Vayer watches specifically. Promo code is SURF15 for 15% off. And uh, yeah, Vayer watches, Chaz. Vayer watches, man. I tell you what, you feel classy when you're wearing a watch. You feel like an adult male with a purpose. Exactly. It's a good and feeling to have. You're in New York City, you're running around all day, your phone's liable to die, you're using the GPS all the time on Completely. that thing. Yeah, and so you're looking up restaurants on Yelp probably. So with, if that phone were to die, you still need to check the time. And so of course a, you do. a watch will keep you in business. And a watch will keep you in business no matter where you are in the world, especially if it's waterproof and you're on a surf trip. And the Veyer watches are in fact waterproof. They have a warranty for it. Um, and, uh, we use the one that has the solar dial. So it absorbs energy from the sun to power the watch. You don't need to wind it. You don't need a new battery. You don't need anything. The it sun takes care of it for you. Peak environmentalism. Exactly. Veyer is spelled V A E R free U S shipping, easy returns. They have styles for everybody. Um, and they're, they're just incredibly well-made, like out of high quality, you know, scratch free sapphire crystal, all that sort of stuff. Anyways, tools to live by brought to you by Vare is where we provide advice for our listeners, give them the tools to navigate their life. And we have an email. He said, hello, David Lee and Chaz. I need some advice about a vow in my life that I can't shake my mother. She learned to surf as a kid in the Outer Banks and has been surfing pretty consistently for 40 or so years. She taught me and my siblings to surf as young children, mainly as a way to get us to leave her alone when we're at the beach. However, now I'm almost 30, and while I'm probably past my peak performance, she's taken an even steeper decline. I had friends in high school who picked up surfing late and would always want to go surfing with me even though they weren't that good. I'd take them to lesser breaks and try to avoid their calls and texts during good swells because I see, because it seemed embarrassing to surf with them. Now that kooky friend is my mom. She'll no, she'll no look burn people, pull back from good set waves, and get stuck on the inside on her neon yellow longboard typically wearing a white, <laughs> wearing a pink bucket hat, <laughs> wearing a pink bucket hat, riding a yellow longboard. Okay. While summer approaching is no big deal because the surf is going to be pretty crappy for the most part. Uh, but the fall hurricane season in the near future, I don't know what to do. My brother brought her out at on Dawn patrol last fall and she seriously tweaked her knee just on the paddle out. I didn't, I don't want her to get hurt when the surf gets good. And I also don't want to have to babysit a vulnerable adult. Every time I go surf, please let me, do, please let me know if you have any thoughts on the issue. Keep up the work. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, really? This is one of my favorite of all time. This goes into our email hall of fames right here. Like the build up, the, like every part of it was spot on. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say what you do, uh, you know, I really do feel good about the advice we gave here. Cause I feel it is not only workable, but it is straight good. Just think and ghost your mom, right? Like do Ooh. treat your mom like your friends in terms of co come over for dinner, take her out for brunch, <laughs> do all the things. But like this expectation that we're glued to our phone all the time, if you hitting every message, knowing everything, right? Like, and so ghost. Now, if she asks you to go surfing, this is where it gets a little trickier, right? So if, yeah, so ghost when you're about to go and if you start to see your phone ring, then just don't answer. It's no expectation that you were by your phone, right? Why would there be an expectation that you were always by your phone? But the, uh, e or text or the call, Hey, I would, let's go surfing tomorrow that you accidentally pick up or that you have to deal with. What do you do there, David Lee? I'm going to take the opposite stance. I don't like the ghosting your mom stance. <laughs> although, although everybody ghosts their mom, like at a certain yeah. age, an adult male ghosts their mom. Of course. That's a regular thing to do, That's whether you saying. surf or not. Yeah. But the reason why I'm anti is because this is a really unique bond. Like the fact that your mom surfs and that you guys have that in common, she shared that with you is super cool. And 
the reality is she won't be able to surf much longer. If she's 70, her days are numbered and you will miss the time when you did used to surf together. And there will be new swells. There will be other fall or autumns that come. And so you're only going to get, let's say, one or two more autumns. She wants to surf with you. Go surf with her. The tweaking her knee situation, I think you maybe have to have an honest conversation with her about what her capabilities are, but you could find somewhere that the waves are still good and not as, you know, threatening um, as the main main peak or whatever. The pr- problem is, though, our dear uh, rider is, ain't getting any younger himself. He's 30. These are kind of peak years are dripping away. So are you going to waste two of your peak years paddling around with your invalid mother (laughs) well the question is what do you value more that relation the quality time with your mom in the surf or getting barreled that i mean i think you could i think oh here so we've just stumbled on the perfect solution it's uh when it's a crappy ish day that's when you say hey mom let's go surf right and then the other then you're fulfilling your surf duty with your mother uh in either not the best days and or not the best places and then ghost when it gets good. So get her surfed out. Yep. When you, if you see a swells coming on Thursday and it's Monday, she'd be like, mom, let's hit it hard today, tomorrow, Wednesday. And then on Thursday, she's like, I need a break. You're like, peace. Yeah. Say you uh, go relax, man. Have a comfortable time. Yeah. Good. Go see. We solved the problem. We solved it. We solved it through. This was a hard one. This was a tricky one. Well, it's, um, put yourself in the mom's shoes, right? Like if you teach Hemi, I actually maybe throw out surfing ballet. You're doing ballet with her right now at a certain point, at a certain point, she's going to be embarrassed to have you trying to do ballet with her. Well, I mean, it's not just that she'll be embarrassed going to the ballet with me. Right. Yes. But, and that's going to hurt. That's going to, that's going to sting. Uh, But I will have to say, you know, you go to ballet with your, you go watch the ballet with your wonderful ballerina friends, have a good time. Then I'm just gonna go sneak in the back. So that's what, if mom is listening, that's what mom could do. Mom would say, you go surf with your friends and then just keep showing up. (laughs) See, I think while it's a noble position for you as the father to acknowledge that and then to give her her space, the even more noble thing would be for Hemi to realize how much it means to you and include dad in it. Well, but you know, even the nobility and this writer, I think, uh, hits the nail on the head really with this is you can't help but cringe, right? His description of even if it is totally noble, but inside, if you're just like, oh, like if, you know, you don't want that for anybody. You don't want anybody to be just cringing. I do, I do sympathize with that part of it where it's like part of him wants to do this with her, but her ability has declined so much. I mean, the no look burn is just, and and knowing that's, that's my, and the struggling on the inside, the pulling back on set waves too. It's like, you see your mom queued up for the wave of the day and she strokes and then just pulls back (laughs) on her own volition. I'd be like, mom, what the hell? Like you start cussing at your mom in the lineup. I mean, especially imagine if Kook showing yeah. <laughs> Imagine if somebody was like right inside of her, ready to have the wave of their life, but they pulled back because mom was going. Then mom pulls back. There's nothing worse than that. Nothing worse than oh, the oh. She's gonna no. get screamed at. And then yeah. you gotta defend your mom. Hey. Yeah. Hey, that's my mom. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the conundrum now that we're looking at it under this angle. Like having to the kookiest person in the lineup and you have to defend that person, even though you would never under any other circumstance. That's what I'm saying though. That's why the workaround is take her surfing on crappy days at crappy spots, ghost her when it gets good. I mean, honestly, accidentally unavailable. In, in addition to all of that surf away from the crowds. I think that's yeah. the part a is just get away from other crowds and get one-on-one time with your mom. I think. Yeah. But so the, man, the answer. is there any version of this where you can have an honest conversation with your mom? No, because and just be like, "Hey, mom, you're you freaking kooking it. Like you yeah. are. You look kooky. You're acting kooky, and yep. and it's bringing shame to our family name." Yep. Nope. You cannot ever have that part of the conversation. That one. That's why, again, tools to live by is so good. Is because very rarely can you take anything that's personal head on. Right? There's you got to find the workaround. You got to find the tool to True. live by. 
That is true. That is the tools to live by is to never, never, never be honest. Anything head on. <laughs> the ultimate tool is to subvert all honesty. There has you got to like present a little modicum of truth, but you really need to do a workaround. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's nothing like a bald face lie because I'm not telling him to tell you know any ever lie to his mom. Ghosting is not lying. Right. That's that's the workaround. Yeah, I think I think we've solved it. So uh, thank you for that email. It was a wonderful email. You're in a unique position because I think very few people's moms surf with them. Devin Howard's mom surfs. Um, yep. There's a couple. but uh, And thank you to Vayer. Well, I didn't say it, but Vayer is spelled V-A-E-R. VayerWatches.com. Promo code SURF15 for 15% off. Brought to you by the ultimate tool. Vayer. Vayer. Watches. Outro.